hello guys and welcome to the channel so today we're going to be doing a recap of the yaoi bio manhwa called omg i'm pregnant with him and this is chapter 101 so guys as usual if you like the video please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so you can get notified of every single time I post a new video. So let's get started with the chapter. And also as you always guys, please do not forget to watch the videos till the end because the longer you watch, the more YouTube pushes the you videos on the YouTube algorithm. So let's get started with OMG I'm pregnant with him, chapter 101. So the chapter starts and you see him like going through his clothes. If only it had been a few seconds earlier. So you see him really going through his clothes. Lianju, happy birthday. So you see him sending the birthday message. Could he have seen it? So you see him thinking. So he looks at his phone and notices his phone's the phone screen is broken. Password. So he's trying to think of what his password is, he's trying to unlock the phone. Shen Tsingui's birthday. So he tries that. The birthday on my ID card. So that's another one he decides to try. Kang Tong's birthday. So also, it's an idea he wants to try. Wedding anniversary. So he tries it, but unfortunately, it's none of the above. Neither. So obviously, he's frustrated that he can't open his phone Shen Tingui is a very simple person so he, you see him having like flashbacks or you see him remembering Shen the lock screen password should be easy to decipher Maybe I'm thinking too much. So all, meanwhile, he's why he's thinking is thinking about Shen, obviously. So you see him still looking at the phone, thinking of like what the password could probably be, trying to unlock the phone. The last four digits of Shen in Grace mobile phone. So he decides to try that. So you see him actually typing in the numbers, the digits. And suddenly it opens. And the first thing he sees is the message which Shen had sent to him. Happy birthday. The next year you must remember my Sheng. So he was about to send this message when obviously something happened to him. So he didn't send that message. So you see him staring at the phone, all sad and like in his feelings.
to be surprised by the messages. And you see him still going through the phone trying to get more information. Are you okay? Subscription account news. Five items. Things to note when re when fertilizing plants. So he's definitely going through his phone. Kaixin. Is he the friend he mentioned before? So he goes through the message with this Kaixin. It's Kaixin person. Does your husband like the cake? No, no, no. If you have a man, forget about me. I'm so angry. You haven't replied to my message for a day. It's gone away and the relationship has faded away. Do you see the person sending an angry emoji? Hey, hey. Why haven't you replied to my WeChat message for so many days? Are you okay? So meanwhile this person was chatting with him and obviously he couldn't respond. So you see him looking, he's surprised. Cake. So next he looks at the date and the time of the messages. And obviously he realizes it, it was his birthday or something. I made a cake for my husband, but it seemed a bit ugly. So this is Shen speaking to Kai Xin. Which century are you from, brother? And you still have such a vulgar expression? Ha 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 ha. I'm sorry I just clicked on the picture. I laughed. This cake is really not that ugly. I thought you had a sponge. So he replies, Kifeng can't make it look good. Otherwise, I should cut it into a heart shape. But I don't have a mold here, so it might be a bit difficult. Why don't you get some cream and try to decorate it? My husband doesn't like sweets, and I don't like them either. So that's Shen discussing with his friend about his birthday. Is this expression better? Didn't get better. If you don't like the sweet food, why don't you sprinkle some chopped nuts? I saw some cute decorations on Weibo before, so I'll send them to you. So he responds, okay, okay. Good. So it's how you see someone playing with the cat. Young Master Canton has been starving at school these days. Are you feeling too lonely these days? So it's is PA speaking to the cat? As he holds and caresses the cat. Meanwhile, you see Shen walking down the stairs. So he walks and sees the PA. So the PA turns around to look at who's, who's there. So you see he doesn't actually say anything. He just keeps walking like he didn't see the PA. Mr. Lian, do you want to... So before he's able to finish his sentence, Lian is like, why are you still here? Obviously, he doesn't want to see anyone right now. 
it'll be a response. Ah, let me feed the cat and leave now. Um, Lucilian opening the fridge, trying to take something. Do you need me to other food for you? So obviously the pea is trying to help him. No. So he opens the fridge and he sees the cake which Shen had made for him. So you see him just staring at the cake. He doesn't say anything. Then he grabs the cake. And next you can see him imagining Shen cooking, baking the cake for him. You see him staring at the cake. Obviously thinking about Shen. So now he's taking the bites of the cake. Chewing. This cake, it's obviously not sweet. It's bitter. So while he's eating, you can see Shen beside him, like a memory of him or something. Meanwhile, later, we're shown someone walking. This gentleman, so someone tries to stop him, the person walking. How are you? So the person taps him. And we see it's actually Shen. So it seems like Shen has been found or something. Unfortunately, this is where the chapter ends. So guys, I hope you liked the recap I did of the Omega Verse Yaoi Bio Manwa called OMG I'm Pregnant with Him, chapter 101. If you liked the video, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so you can get notified of every single time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye.